are you in the dual PVS 14 game? Do you want to be part of that club? Or do you want to step into the dedicated dual tube system? That's what this video is about today. Take it away, Don. All right. Some guys find themselves in the possession of two PVS 14s. If you're into this stuff and you get into it, you have buddies that are buying and selling stuff. Sometimes they so call we get off phone trucks at Fort Bragg. I well, know. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> you know, we get plenty of guys call up. It's like, hey, I'm buying. You know, my buddy's PVS 14. I'm gonna have two. What do you think? Should I should I get a bridge mount and, and bridge them together? So that's usually how, or well, it's one of the ways that the conversation will kick off over the phone, right? You know, or I'm thinking yep. about getting another PBS 14 so I can bridge it together. Um, there's a lot of reasons why guys, you know, compelling reasons why you would want to do that. You know, one, you're testing the waters, like Sam said. Do I want to get a set of Sentinels? You know, I've got two PBS 14s. Let's see what that's all about. You can get a, a, a pretty decent bridge mount for around 500 bucks. You can spend a yeah. thousand bucks for some really, really nice ones. Um, so, you know, for four or five hundred dollars, you can check it out and see what the hype's all about if, if you want to. You know, if you've already got two PBS 14s, it's not a bad idea. But the downsides are, you'll soon find out, is a bridge mount of two PBS 14s is about the heaviest option. Yeah, all together, put together, about 30 ounces. Probably about 30 ounces versus 22 and a half. 20 to 22 is about you know, the average depending on what, for, you're, what you're running there. You know, like the 18. DTs are 18. 18 um, ounces. Yeah. So, I, I don't know. I, I get guys so. that, that ask that question. Um, a lot of times they've got one PBS 14. Right. Um, you know, it's like, hey, I already bought a 14 from you guys. Not Thinking about getting awesome. another one. Yeah. yeah, should I get another one and bridge it together? Um, you know, me personally, I look at it like, well, if you like the idea of being able to have two mutually exclusive goggles and, uh, you know, say you got um, a family member or a buddy that's going to go out hunting with you or something like that and you want to be able to break them apart and have two people under goggles, mm -hmm. awesome. You know, that's not a bad way to go uh, because you're going to literally have two purpose-built monoculars and now you've got two folks up on NVGs. Um, if you're not going to be doing that or you know if if on the off chance you know one percent of the time you're going to have a a buddy come out then honestly i, I say don't worry about it get the duels yeah. um i usually at that point i'm telling guys you know what i would probably just sell the pvs 14 you got and unless it's tax refund season or something's coming up where you know you're going to get you know several thousand dollars that's going to put you in a, a good position to start on a dual system um, or uh, uh, you, you just know that hey I'm planning on selling a couple rifles or something like that um, otherwise honestly bro just sell the PBS 14 you got and take that money to kickstart you know your your savings for for the next one for right. for the duels and if you're still thinking oh well I might want to split them apart um, it's 2018 we, we we've got a thing for that um, <laughs> enter the AB Mod 3, and uh, <clears throat> or as I like to call it, the his and hers pair of night vision. You, it has a floating bridge basically, so you can split the individual iPods, hook them up to individual power supplies that are powered it by. Is an it. iPod trademarked? Um, this probably is. I'll probably get sued, but you know, <coughs> yeah. don't care. Steve Jobs um, from Beyond. Yep. Um, with a CR123 battery uh, and, a, and a regular PVS14 J arm. You're you're rocking a, uh, a purpose basically build. A, a 14, but not a 14, um, and uh, I believe you're going to get like eight hours of battery life out of a 123 battery. Um, still has an IR illuminator, still has uh, variable gain. Um, it does everything. It does PBS everything. Yeah, 14 I mean, does uses the same lens assemblies. <laughs> um, will work with 90% of the accessories that go with it, um, but you still have the ability to go to a dual tube system and um, at not that big of a expense of, of weight, um, you, you can do it's a multi-mission, you know, night vision system. Well, and that's one of the things like with the the PBS 14. If you got two 14s and you're bridging them together, like I said, you've got two mutually exclusive independent goggles. That means you're now cantilevering off the front of your face. You got two batteries, two power supplies, uh, two control knobs, two IR illuminators, all that stuff. Um, you know, whereas a, a purpose-built duel, you've got all that singularly up in the bridge, and then you've got two optic pods, you know, one for each eye. 
with what the mod. Gain? Uh, right, and, and in some cases you've got a single gain um, on a, a purpose-built duel. Other times you've got two independent gains, but you know, when all said and done, you're literally, you've got two separate goggles that you're mating together. Um, you know, one of the other problems that comes up from that is if you've got one level of spec in this tube and one level of spec in that tube and you put them together, your brain is getting two kind of different signals. It's, it, it's still going to work for you, but you're, uh, d depending on uh, how different it is, if, if you've got 64 line pair in one and 72 line pair in the other, uh, if your signal noise is, is really different uh, from one goggle to the other, you could kind of give yourself a little bit of a headache. If you like tension headaches, that's a great way to do it. There you go. And and hey, some people are into that, yep. but uh, you know they, they pay extra for it. Mm -hmm. But uh, with a with a purpose built duel, um, what happens when we build them is we're actually matching the specs as best we possibly can to get them within uh, a, a certain um, uh, level of each other, so that your both eyes are getting the same level of performance, the same image, so to speak. And one of the nice things with uh, the Mod 3 being modular is that when you remove, you know, each individual power supply and IR illuminator and control, you're literally bridging them together and for all intent and purpose creating a single uh, system that was purpose built to be a dual goggle. You're not sacrificing extra weight and, uh, and, and size. So, I mean... Basically, that, that's a dual tube purpose-built goggle at that point. So, if, uh, if, if you like the idea of still being able to break them apart and use them separately, then awesome. You know, I, I'd say the Mod 3 is really your best bet. And it's really your only. Yeah, your yeah I mean, I, I suppose if you have two separate PVS-14s, um, they, they're still mutually exclusive and you decide, you know, Ah oh, crap! I gotta, you know, I forgot uh, the wife's birthday, or I messed up in some other way, and now I need to get some cash to, you know, do something with her, take her on vacation, or something like that. You could probably sell one of your PBS 14s, and then you still have, you know, a purpose-built goggle in and of itself. So, if you screw up at home a lot, or you could just <laughs> write her to get to get good for ten back rubs, so you don't have to sell your 14, which that's what I would do. And that's why Sam's not married. So let that be a, a life lesson. So, hey guys, thanks for, uh, for watching. Um, hopefully that gave you some more information about uh, uh, dual tube, single tube, should I bridge two PBS 14s together to create a, a quasi, you know, dual tube. Um, you know, be sure to keep an eye on our, our YouTube page and uh, other social media for more informative videos.